Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate your time. Uh, this is more prey. Uh, this is a game from 2017. I've been playing. Uh, it was developed by Arcane Studios. It is sci-fi. Uh, it's first-person shooter. Uh, survival game, I guess. Well, there's some aliens on board a space station, and we're trying to figure out what's going on and, uh, and a way to survive. So, uh, what we got to do is we got to get this room cleared here, and I got my turret, my friendly turret, right here in front of me, and we got to get that robot over there to come this way. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, please take a moment to like the video, uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can click the notification bell to get notified uh, all the videos when I drop videos. Um, any support that you can offer is greatly appreciated. Uh, you can leave a comment if you like. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me what game you're playing. Tell me how your day's going. Just tell me hi. But anyway, like I said, we've got to clear this room and it looks like there's one robot over here. It's being painted, but I saw him floating this way. Where did he go? There he is. Oh no, that's the engineer operator, okay. No big deal over there. So, the room is clear, so I guess we'll just uh, do a little bit of exploring. Okay, so what is this? Ooh, that's radioactive. We ain't going in there. Oh, thank you. So there is an anti-rad medication that I've seen recently that I can fabricate, so I guess I'll have to fabricate some of that to get into that spot. Two, three, fifth. This is a storage room, okay. Oh god, what is that? Dynamic shit. Where'd it go? your character in this game. Uh, they're like points basically. So if you go to your inventory on Nero mods, which are these things that you jack into your brain to make you smarter and bring your stats up. So right now we currently have three. And what I wanted to get for this three was this, this dismantle right here. So what this does is it allows you to break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. So every time I knock down a robot or something, now I can get spare parts from it. The spare parts are crucial to like repairing and things like that. So that was a big one. All right, that radioactive thing is right on the other side there. We didn't get too close. So we got a weapon upgrade kit. Blue canisters and a note. We need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. Required a weapon upgrade kit. Press I to go to your inventory and use it. What is that? Is this this one? So what am I upgrading? Oh, I see.
Okay, but I don't want to do all of those, right? Uh, hit the wrench. Can I do the wrench? Doesn't look like I can upgrade the wrench. Stairs are down. I gotta make stairs up there, right? Star uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times while on board the station. While every effort has been made to make Talos a comfortable and safe place to work, there's always a chance of accident or hazard. Departmental assignments can be determined by uniform style and color. Brown and black, corporate and administrative, green and white, science and technology, orange and engineering and maintenance, blue and black is security. Okay. It has bolt effectiveness. Don't sweat it. When the cat's away and all that, I think I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you, Mary. Hi, Clive. Sorry for bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. I think it's coming along rather nicely. Still won't want to help. I've already recruited Mary. Elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do 
so don't bother asking. Just get it done. which do zero damage. Also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Oh boy, okay, so it's just a distracting tool. Can I pick them back up? Yeah, I don't know. 
ultimately, I gotta get down here and check this file because I'm looking for Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, right? What the objective, current objective says. Uh, find Calvino's workshop key card. Access Dr. Calvino's workshop hardware labs. Alex disabled the looking glass servers before I could finish watching my video. January believes Dr. Lorenzo, the man who invented the technology, knows a way to restore the video file. His workshop is in the hardware labs. Okay. So, what that means is that, that right here and there. He wants me to go over here, I think, so I could probably, like, lower the thing, maybe. Got it. Boom. Like a boss. That was cool. That worked about as good as I thought it was going to work. So this is Franklin Good. Franklin's got some pretty good stuff. And then there's something over there too, yeah? Airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Looks like you've already got a propulsion system, so you should be fine maneuvering. What? Going into space. There's another guy up there, too. I don't even think I've been in this office, though. Oh, crap. Conveyor scheduled maintenance required. Do not operate conveyor without proper authorization. Is that another freaking robot over there? That's just my fix-up one I had already. Okay. Move cargo.
take it somewhere to drop it off. I don't know if this it doesn't seem to have like an overweight support, like uh you know, like fallout or sky or But like the inventory thing is already come as issue because you gotta recycle stuff and then So I guess I'm taking a spacewalk. This is going to be interesting. Talos 1 has multiple airlocks and an exterior space station. Oh boy, so it's telling me I gotta go this way, right? Yeah. You know, hold on a second though. Let's back up this train real quick because there's something else here. some reason to do it. There's no like leveling system, there's just a upgrading your character health wise, but Joven Gravovic stating that Bellamy kept some psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. Apparently Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. So I need... I need the freaking thing. Good morning, Carlos. I, I need the thing to the trauma center, the door, the key. I have a key to the trauma center, so I can't get in there yet. I shall find it along the way. It's down here somewhere. So yeah, I guess we're going into going into space, right? Oh, I can take a, I can take this part, all the spare parts from all the robots that I've killed now, because I got that dismantle. See, look at that old boy.
basically just Scanning trying to carry him as far as I can go. Okay. This ought to be interesting. in here but there's all these corpses do I got do I got I run out of power
Today, I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay, do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah. Well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is... it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the cop. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. Mio! Uh, this is, um... This is Dr. Calvino. Ah. Well, I suppose you've turned in. Uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but, um... Uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is... it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, ah, I'm sending it to you anyway. Okay. That was Access Dr. Calvino's workshop. Oh, did I wonder how far I'd just let you go if you just took off and went right for the moon? So there's actually a DLC uh, to this. It's called Moon Crash, I believe. It's on here. I might play it after this because this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying myself in this game. You know, typical Bethesda game. But it's Bethesda in space, so. Hmm. Okay, here we go bouncing. That wasn't so bad. There's a lot of airlocks I gotta unlock because you have to unlock them first before you get in them, so they have to be unlocked from the inside. But that wasn't so bad. Okay. Operator approach. Hello, nice to see you.
circle. Coming through. I forget about that. Yeah, that dismantle thing is so cool. Getting so many spare parts from that. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't run back through there. Operator approach. Out there, maybe I can draw him in with the thing. All right, let me get the pistol out. Quite a few shots. Yeah. Okay, so now if I open the other door and try to lure him through, I think I can catch him and get him on the shot side. I don't think it's a good shot. Oh, there he is. Oh, there Space station's pretty much taken over at this point. Holy crap. What is this deal? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, alright. What's over here? Bunch of nothing.
SR4 Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. It's running? Light-filled capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld? D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two, now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense! I guess you forgot. Ah, uh, they're getting played by the aliens. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's, it's late after all. Uh, go. Go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. Get on, piscatole. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output of the reference signal. The difference between the actual and desired outputs is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Okay. someone took a wrench to the main server the whole system goes down anyway come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details I have a few questions suggestions if you're happy space back. 
lights or something. What the hell? I don't know why they're on fire. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably end up finding out at some point. How is that in there? Let them go long enough, those things split into like four, and they'll just they replicate. It's terrible. Matching key card. No matching key card. Damn it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. There's two of them down there too. Not oh, cool, man. Can I move that couch? I don't think so. That seems probably a little heavier than my butt's gonna get here right now. Just can't remember what I 
Okay, there's a turrets in that hole right there. Right? Yeah, there is. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Okay. What is this? And how do I get in here? the objective here? Search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center because Bellamy kept the psycho research, psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. Apparently Bellamy's corpse is in the trauma center and might still have the key card. second what you're actually doing and these damn things are everywhere boom because they don't like just it's not like a systematic thing where like every time you leave a room or something they just replicate or pop back on Cycle it into separate uh, separate little blocks like this.
That's pretty good. What is my inventory slots looking like now? Okay. That's what it is, I guess. Alright, but I broke a hole in the screen, dude. Shit. Shut the hell up. Dude, they thought of everything. Oh, you break your TV. Here you go. Good morning, Tyler. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Uh... Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos 1, but none of them are like me. So she's a robot. Over here. This... oh shit, this is the deal? Okay, wow. What if I just shot the hell out of it right now? <laughs> I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. I'll look for more neuromods while you're gone. All right, well, you heard the robot. Now we got to go to deep storage to get the arming key for this self-destruct mechanism, but we're blowing the place up. It's falling apart anyway. It's covered in aliens. Uh, everybody's dead. So, yeah, we're going to blow it up. But that will have to wait uh, for the next episode. So, I'm going to call this one good. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Please like my video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can click the notification bell so you get notified when I do make videos and post videos, which is fairly often because I do like to play this game and several other video games. Uh, currently playing... Uh, Soma as well. It's a first-person horror game. I'll leave a Your office is relatively top. secure. Come back if you need to rest or use the fabricator. But anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day. This is the Atomic Rooster, and I am signing off.